Okay, and we're live again. This is a take two. I am so sorry. I'm not sure what happened. Hopefully this one will be a little bit better. So um, please, when you come in, hopefully I can catch a few of you back here again. Um, say hello. Let me know if the feed is any better. Hopefully I'll get a few of you back that were on. just adjust this. Not sure what happened guys, but I think it's better now. So um, tonight what we're going to do is a really um, fun, really easy project. Anybody can do it. This is using the IOD transfers. So these are beautiful transfer. Hi Catherine, everything's good now? Thank you. Um, these are beautiful transfers. They're fully colored um, and they're ready to apply. Now, the one that I have in my hand is their brand new packaging and they are in booklets and you actually get a little more in the booklets than in the tubes. Um, so that's a good thing. And they're also easier for people to store. They're not as bulky. So um, hopefully y'all like the packaging a little bit better. And this is what, this is what it looks like in the packets. Ew, excuse me, snuck up on me. Pretty, huh? So this is what I'm doing. Hi, everybody. Hey, Miss Carrie. Hello, hello. Kimberly in the house. Um, Kimberly, I left you a message on a video. I hope that it helped you. Um, hello, hello, Deborah. How are you, Deborah? And Melanie's here from New, where are you from? North Carolina for a minute. I thought it said New York. I should have my glasses on today. Okay, so I went ahead and started on this a little bit. And this is what I have on. Um, what I did was I took the I took the transfer off of the paper. So it comes on a waxy paper and it is right behind me here. And it has like a shiny waxy kind of the film to it and the transfer comes kind of the um, design part sticking down okay so that it does not get um, ruined or anything during transport so um, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of lay this out I think I want this one over here since I have the white flower here let's put this white flower over here maybe And I'm just going to kind of place it. So the paint finish that I did, you can catch yesterday's live. I did the paint finish and I went ahead and did the same paint finish on the top. Um, I thought it would just kind of be better just to kind of keep the whole flow going. Um, I think I'm going to work this about here. I'm just going to kind of lay it out. Um, this one is called Wallflowers. I don't think that I told you that. We got a little sidetracked, didn't we, um, with the live feed going out. So this one's called Wallflower. Um, and you can find this on my website. Hello, Kristen. How are you, my friend? I miss you. Um, let's see. find. Well, this is the link that takes you to the wallflower. I don't think it's clickable, but that's what it looks like. Um, and this is the link to my website, Girl Upcycled Studio. Oh, yeah, Girl Upcycled Studio. I thought I spelled it wrong. I really should have my glasses on when I'm doing this. Um, anyway, so you can go there and hit the IOD products and it will bring up all the products. You guys just that whole start today just messed me all up. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to take that off and get back to your comments. Do you have plans for your new buffet? I don't. I have a lot of them, but I don't know for sure which one. Judith said she loves this transfer. So does Elizabeth. So does Deborah. 
Um, Nikki is asking, hey, Kelly, did you put a sealer on the table before applying the transfer? Great question, Nikki. No, I did not. Now, are you supposed to? The company that the company says that they would rather you put a sealer on it first. Um, but I didn't want to <laughs> because I didn't want to wait for another layer to dry. Um, so what happens is when you put a clear coat on, it is um, it makes it shiny and it's less porous. So I just applied it on the porous um, paint, the matte paint. And what that means is you're going to have to scrape a little bit harder. So it does release a little bit easier if you put it onto a clear white seal. But, you know, I just... I just wanted to get to it and then I um, wanted to kind of, I may add some more paint to it because I don't know that I want this that bright. I think I might even fade some of the paint and let some of it drip over it. That's what I'm thinking. So, let me rethink this. I think I'm going to put this here. Y'all can see that. Let me move my little questions. If you all have questions about this, um, let me. You can just ask. Um, Deborah, oh, I want a whole desk covered in in those flowers. I know that would be pretty, huh? So, Jude, what do you think I should do with my new buffet? Can you see very well? So this is the one I'm going to work on. So I've got it placed. It is on, like if you were going to line this up, it has a grid on the, the little transferring paper. Uh, but I, I didn't really need to use that today. And you can see how it gets a little bit milky. You may not be able to see that. Yay! Deborah, yes. Are you going to paint it on or are you going to use transfers? Deborah is a watercolor artist and she's an amazing one at that. And you can find her over on YouTube. She does some beautiful artwork over there. So if you notice, I'm having to kind of just really take my corner of my little um, scraper and I'm really trying to dig in. Um, what I've done is I have some texture on the top of this little desk or this little vanity. It was in pretty bad shape, okay? So I'm not gonna lie. It, I mean like it's it's nice and sturdy but it had a lot of nicks and bumps and bruises and just all kinds of stuff. So. Well, I'm glad that the, hi, Suzanne, I'm so glad that the, um, the video started working. I, it was the weirdest thing. It was just like completely black when I came on. I thought, oh no, what did I do? I made the gremlins mad or something. So we say the gremlins are at work. All right. So I never know if it's you know, the Facebook system or if it is, you know, the StreamYard that I'm using. Um, thank you, Suzanne. You're my favorite today for sprinkling the love. Um, Deborah says, uh, I want to do a new desk for painting my watercolor flowers. Yes, I think you should. Yes. So that is interesting, too, that she's saying. So she's going to hand paint some on hers. And what I plan to do, and this is something to inspire those of you that are using the transfers, but you want it to look unique. Like you don't want it to look like it's just, like if you look at it right now, it looks like it has maybe been um, decoupage or just laid on there. So what you can do is add layers of paint and different um, waxes and things to it to make it look like 
it's actually hand painted. And that's what I like to do when I use, the, I love the transfers, but I do like it to look more hand painted, right? Like I want, I want it to look unique and different as much as possible than any other product. And I think that's gonna help you sell your product, right? You can make it look, you know, a little unique. But these go on so easy. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure how much I wanna do of this one. Okay, I think I want to stop right there. Boom, voila, and it's on there. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. All right, and I think, I think what I'll do is maybe add that up in the corner. What do you think? Oh, it's just say I'm missing a piece. Blue off into the floor is another little blue one. I'll probably put him like down here somewhere. We'll go something like this. Maybe something like that. Nikki says my favorite pieces are the ones that show their age. Yeah, me too. All right, so let's go ahead. I've got some random leaves. Now listen, ladies, when you use these different products, save all the little pieces, okay? So I'm gonna save these leaves and I, I might even have a few little um, leaves from another project where I can But anyway, I can tuck those in anywhere I want them. This is a little bit exactly how I want it. But I think that's going to be good enough. Here comes the train. All right. This takes it just a few minutes just to get you lined up here. There we go. Lined up. There's a little piece of tape on here. I don't think that's going to matter up and there's just a random little piece of flower or something a petal I'm not gonna I'm gonna kind of pick and choose what I want I'm gonna lay it on there and I'm gonna start flattening that out and I'll start rubbing this down that this again ladies this is called wallflower I did a beautiful um, vanity the last time I used this one and I used the periwinkle color that we have called water lily and it was stunning with the color color of water lily um, just beautiful I did um, the well the vanity it had like some cut out areas and and then I'm just, if you notice, I'm just kind of lifting it as I go along. And you'll see it gets this kind of milky film white kind of a color. Nikki says she loves that vanity. Can you remember it? I have a bed from that same set. And I thought about doing that to the bed too because I love the, I love that um, together. It just looked like this was perfect. Um... Hello, Derek. I'm good. How are you? What is my base color? My base color, and you can catch that on yesterday's show if you need to. Um, I use the base coat Monet's Garden, which is this deep kind of hunter foresty green. And then over the top, I did kind of a, a milky, drippy wash using apothecary. So it's going pretty quick. I went ahead and did the biggest part. 
before I came live because I thought I just probably wouldn't want to see me do that whole big thing. Although it is oddly satisfying. <laughs> Voila. Here we go. Boom. And that is on there. And that was easy. Boy, that yellow looks really pretty on there. And I have a little speck of color. I mean, I guess I could, you know, tuck it. If I wanted a little color, I could rub it on somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about that. This is what it's looking like. Let's get this one in place. Boom. Put that down. Just like that. Okay. I have my heater running right underneath. Kind of cold in here. How's everybody doing today? Y'all keeping warm? All right. I'm just going to flip this and we'll put that little leaf right around the corner there. So it's just a little bit. If you look on the front, I went ahead and put a little bit of the flowers down in front of it as well. tables always do really well for those of you that are you have, if you're in the business um, these little vintage I, I don't know really the proper name of them does anybody else Deborah says it's been 80 degrees Deborah stop you're just just showing off now you're just rubbing it in <laughs> I was live with Karen Crone yesterday and she said yeah it was going to be in the 80s there she's in Florida so I was like, darn it. 80 is a little too warm for me these days, but I'll take a 72 degrees year round. <laughs> right? There we go. See, easy. This one's going down quick. So even though I don't have a sealer on at first, I, I, most of the time I put my sealer on last. Boom. And there's that. Looks really cute on here. You can also um, sand it if you wanted. You want to rough it up a little bit, sand it a little bit. Um, <laughs> yes, Jude. I'm ready. Road trip. Yes, girl. Road trip. I think I'm going to put that one right there. Start rubbing. Have you all used the IOD transfers yet? I've been using these guys for quite a while. Um, they're just all of their products in general. They're some nice products. But it basically turns your furniture into mixed media art. So you can use this with stamps. Rollers, all that. Clay molds. See, now this is giving me trouble. It doesn't want to go down. There we go. If it doesn't want to go down, you just drop it back and then you start rubbing again. But not too bad. Not too shabby. Hello, Annette. How are you? Hey, Tony. Did you top coat the piece first? I did not. That's a bad girl. I break the rules. I always say, well, you got to know the rules and then you break the rules, right? Because I was like, well, you're supposed to seal it, but what if I don't? 
on it. And I'm just going to find out. You know what? It was fine. Definitely seal it afterwards. So a lot of times what I do on these um, is I'll hard coat it and then I'll go over top of it and then I will add my waxes and if I want to, I could even add glazes, like distressing glazes. Voila! How about that? Not bad, huh? So I think this really does need age because at this point right now, it, it does. It looks like it's boom, like it's got maybe papers glued to it or whatever. So I want it to, when I get done with it, I want this to look like it has maybe been painted on. Um, so, and then one other little thing that I did was I added the copper, which would be the um, pennies from heaven. That's one coat. I may do a second coat, but you can see how well it covered just with the one coat. But I think that looks pretty cute with it. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'll be waxing and doing all that stuff. Um, Jude says she loves transfers. Kimberly says, I want to patchwork. I want the patchwork transfer and can't find anything. Patchwork? It's, is that the name of it? Patchwork? I'm not familiar with that one. Are you sure it's IOD? I'm not I'm not familiar with what that would be. Anybody else familiar with that one? Thank you guys for sharing the love. I appreciate that. So um, I don't know. I've got some some stuff that I want to try. Um, I don't know if I should try it with you guys or, or if it'll scare you or if it'll scare me. Hello, Susan. Thank you. Nope. Jude says, nope. Never heard of it either. Yeah, it's a cute little shape. Do it. Guys, if I mess up. So, um, speaking of which, if you guys watched yesterday's show with Karen, she redid that leg that she was working on, and it turned out so good, but it's like a, it's like a, a blue color now rather than a purple, but it's really pretty. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm a little bit afraid to try it with y'all watching. Okay, where did I try where it's not conspicuous? Okay. So, what I have here is a brush that has some of the paint left on it. going to rub it on here a little bit. You guys want to make sure this is all down. I know, I'm probably, I'm probably making you guys cringe, aren't I? Don't be scared. But here's the thing, I want this to kind of, I want this to look like it's attached. I want it to really look like it's like it's been just stuck on there, right? So I had this in water. It was full of paint. Is it Prima? That could be. Say now they used to be with Prima, um, but I'm not real familiar with their products now anymore. Just rubbing this over. <laughs> Am I scaring anyone? I'm scaring myself. You can see, it's kind of giving it this milky kind of a film. Just kind of 
rubbing it in. Anyone ever done this to their transfers? Can we see up close? Yes, ma'am. So, yeah, no judging. <laughs> you can't judge until it's all the way done. Well, I guess you can. It's okay. I mean, the worst that could happen, guys. My the ladies in my group know this. Worst that could happen is, you know, I don't like it and I redo it. I just can't be afraid to try stuff. All right. So let me bring you closer. And a little bit closer. Let's see. Okay. You like it already? Are you going to sustain that? See how it muted the whole thing? nice little wash kind of over it is what it did. And what you can do is Add in layers if you want to. Um, thanks, Susan. She loves how this looks. Um, this old lady doesn't see Donna. You're cracking me up, girly. Me either. I don't have my glasses on. Me either. Let me take the, um, I'm going to move the light because it looks brighter than what it looks like. Is that, I don't know if that is better. I don't know if that helped or not. So I'm going to kind of let it dry. It has like this real milky kind of a look now to it and where'd my brush go and I'm just going to kind of bit more wherever I think it's too bright. It's just a it's a very easy addition to do if you're if you're brave and I know you are be brave. You could actually do like a whole drip wash over it if you wanted to, or you could spray wash it. You could put this in a spray bottle where it did like a little bit of a wash if you wanted to. 
Um, Susan says, you've inspired me to do a wash over the transfers. I'm not scared. Good girl. Awesome. So I'm going to just lightly go over it. Be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to grab any of the transfer if, there's, if the transfer is um, loose or anything. Now, something you can do too, wet distress. Let's say you got too much on there. Let's wet, let's wet it down and let's pull a little bit of it off here and there if we want. See? I don't know if you can see how that kind of brightened up. So let's see if we can pull a little bit off of there. See how that just brightened up? There we go. I'm going to do some waxes over top of this too, so that'll kind of that's going to change the looks of it too. Looks like I wait a minute, almost pulled the flower up right there. Real careful. I may have, so I'm going to paint that little area. Put some paint in there. I pulled up a little bit, so I'm going to be careful. I got a little too rough with it. But yeah. So, I'm going to have to let this dry because I think if I keep messing with it, I don't want to pull anything else up huh, as I keep messing with it. Um, I kind of like how it's bringing out some of the texture that I have underneath too. That's kind of fun because I really texturized it. and aged. I think once I get those waxes on, it'll be perfect. So you will see finished pictures of it unless if, I don't know, I might, maybe I'll come live tomorrow and show you the finished um, the finished waxing of it. So any questions? I'll give you guys just a second if you have any questions um, put them in there now don't see anything coming in so I hope you guys give this a try again um, this is wallflower and we have just done a um, kind of a texturized little wash over it and toned it all down and um, we're just doing some cool stuff with it. So I hope you guys give it a try. Like I said, you can find all of these products over on my website at girlupcycledstudio.com. You'll go into where it says IOD um, and you'll look for wallflower. Um, the bottom colors I use would be Monet's Garden and um, Apothecary. I applied a lot of texture and layers. You can find that on yesterday's show. Um, let's see. Are you having a class on next Tuesday? Donna, inside the private group in the Creators Club, I will do a live class. And I have to look on the schedule to see um, what's coming up next. Um, so I can get that um, posted for you guys. But every Tuesday I'll go live in the Creators Club. And I think that's what you're talking about. Um, Susan is asking, what color waxes are you going to use? So, so I'm probably, I'll probably do like, I may even do a hard coat on top of here first. Like a clear seal. And then I'll go over top of that with... Um, like dark wax 
and then I'll kind of see if I want to add any other waxes to it, like maybe white wax. Like if I want it a little more milkier looking than it is. So I'm, I'm just going to play around with it when I do that. Um, you're welcome, Donna. Uh, anything else? Let me look through the comments. Thank you, Judith. Um, thanks, Susan. All right, that's all. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Just a little quick one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I will see you guys really soon, all right? Have a great weekend. Tomorrow's Friday already, so um, I don't know. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see if I have a project to do, but um, we'll see you soon. All right, take care. Bye, everyone.